Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna tell you some of the reasons why your natural hair may not be growing and I'm gonna tell you this based on personal experience. So between March and August last year, my hair grew 3.5 inches. But then between August and December, my hair only grew 0 0.5 inches that's about the same time frame but why did my hair grow 3.5 inches in between march and august and then between august and december the same hair grows only 0 0.5 inches i kind of looked back and reflected on some of the things that i did between march and august that i stopped doing between august and december and some of the destructive things that i started doing between august and december that kind of made my growth to be stagnant so i hope you guys enjoy this video reason number one over manipulation this includes things like combing your hair way too many times the other thing will be over detangling and by over detangling i mean trying so hard to have a comb slide through your hair sometimes you don't have to do that sometimes you just have to let your hair do its thing and then the other thing will be um changing hairstyles way too many times i feel like this is something i've been doing so much between august and december like i've been so wild oh flexi roads oh mini braids oh mini trees oh box braids i've just been trying out so many things and i feel like i haven't really been giving my hair the time to grow because every time you over manipulate your hair you lose some of it and every time you lose your hair you're losing your inches and the result is you're gonna end up feeling like oh my god my hair is not growing it's been like this for the past six months no your hair is growing the thing is you're manipulating it too much and then it's ending up to feel like it's not growing reason number two if you're still using this on your hair let's observe a moment of silence because rest in peace to your hair this this is really harsh like you can't be using this on your hair when it's not straightened it's literally gonna rip out all your hair so my point is avoid using harsh detangling tools on your hair because it's literally ripping out your hair the other reason is detangling on dry hair this is something that i've been doing a lot for the past four months which is why i've only gained 0 0.5 inches in four months because how can you detangle your hair when it's dry what's gonna happen is your hair is brittle at the time so it's literally just gonna break as you comb it out you're just gonna lose your inches when detangling your hair just try to make sure that it's wet or add something to add some sleep to it like a leave-in conditioner some gel just something to kind of like make it wet reason number four not finger detangling here's an interesting fact between march and august i only finger detangled my hair i only did finger combing and finger detangling i never used any comb on my hair but then between august and december after seeing all the growth all the inches eh, i was like okay i'm gonna start using combs a little so that i can see how long my hair is blah 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 and all that kind of stuff i feel like using combs rips out your hair most of the time when you finger detangle you have the chance to feel the notes and the tangles and take your time to like separate them and detangle them without ripping out your hair but then when you're using combs the comb doesn't really know that this is a tangle you need to slow down you need to take your time and you know it's just gonna rip through so try using finger detangling more often the other reason is not taking care of your ends so if you're not moisturizing your ends or you're just using combs and ripping through your ends without wetting your hair first and all that kind of stuff you're gonna lose your ends and your ends are the oldest part of your hair i think i already said that <laughs> but yes 
if you don't take care of them you're gonna lose them and by losing your ends you're losing your inches and it's gonna feel like my hair is not growing <laughs> no your hair is growing if your hair wasn't growing you'd be bald reason number six using excessive heat on your hair heat is one of those things that i think you should avoid if you can because it's not healthy for your hair see in september i straightened my hair with heat and i used a lot of heat on my hair during that time like i literally straightened out my hair like completely I mean, I still used a heat protectant on my hair, but I still feel like that was very destructive for my hair. So avoid heat if you can. And if you have to, don't forget to apply some sort of heat protectant so that you don't end up having heat damage and stuff. The other reason is not moisturizing. I didn't even put this as the first point because I know by now everybody has heard this song. Moisturize, 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 moisturize. So if you're not moisturizing your hair, your hair is dry and brittle. It's gonna fall off, it's gonna break because it's dry. So maybe you should start moisturizing your hair a lot more often and by moisturizing i mean stuff like the loc method or the lco method which stands for liquid cream and oil and moisturizing i feel like is one of those things you kind of need to pay attention to your hair to determine how best to moisturize your hair because the products we use on our hair are different based on stuff like our hair porosity so if i have high porosity I cannot use the same products as somebody else who has low porosity. So just try to figure this stuff about your hair and learn the best way to moisturize your hair. And then the other reason will be not deep conditioning. Deep conditioning is important because it strengthens your hair. So start deep conditioning. Reason number nine, I think destructive styling in the name of protective styling so if you're doing box braids and you're making them really tight eh eh nani what can i tell you because if it's too tight your hair is gonna fall off or the other thing is snatching your edges like you're literally snatching them <laughs> That is not protective styling, that is destructive styling. So please start doing protective styling. Like if you're doing box braids, try to make them loose because we have this belief that tight is neat. Which I don't know about that or tight means it's gonna last longer. No, that is a lie. So just practice protective styling, like the real protective styling. Tuck away your ends, you know, be gentle when doing these protective styles on your scalp and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, I feel like those are all the reasons why I think your natural hair may not be growing. If you have any other reasons you want to add, please add them in the comment section. And if you're new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. Uh, thank you so much guys for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.